Welcome to this introduction to the Discrete Element Method, or DEM. During this short video, users will gain an introductory understanding of what DEM is, where it can be used in industry, and the kinds of problems that can be identified. Technically speaking, DEM is a finite difference numerical method for predicting the motion of individual and independently moving objects. It can be applied anywhere that a large number of objects interact and where the scientific principles that govern each particle's interaction or motion are understood, possibly including such particle-particle interactions as friction, electrostatic, magnetic, gravitational, and cohesive forces. A DEM analysis starts with a collection of particles or by creating particles in a designated region. Along with the current position and velocity of a particle, the particle's physical characteristics are used to calculate the current forces upon the particle. The forces typically include gravity, friction, and pressure from contact with other particles and physical system boundaries, but may include other effects, such as those caused by cohesion. These forces are then used to predict the particle's future location and velocity for some small time increment called a time step. For the purposes of this presentation, the apparent time step and vector lengths have been exaggerated for visual purposes. Normally, the time step is on the order of millionths of a second. This process is repeated for every particle in the system for each time step. When particles collide with each other or with other parts of the system, the particles are treated like linear springs to calculate a reaction force and friction. The length of the time step is the result of a calculation performed to assure that particle-particle contacts are accurately simulated. Repeating this process for each particle and each time step results in smooth motion. In practice, DEM has been used for a variety of simulations such as rock fracture and soil mechanics, the flow of particles in bulk material handling systems, and the effects of ice blocks floating into bridges. Industrial and commercial applications include mining and mining equipment where downtime, plugging, dust production and dispersion, and material degradation are important issues. In agricultural machinery, reliability is a major concern. Crop conditions also complicate traditional methods of analysis. In chemical and food processing, mixing, proper exposure to heat and the environment, material stagnation and or buildup, and material degradation are important issues to look for. DEM is more than creating animations of particle interactions. The animations are a visual display of large amounts of data generated by a simulation. The positions of particles, their velocity components, stress components, and the forces placed upon physical boundaries are all available to the user for further analysis. DEM is a valuable engineering tool used to understand bulk material flow. Often, problems associated with the movement of particles are difficult or impossible to predict using any other method. Other methods often represent the flow of particles as a fluid flow continuum problem or use single particle calculations to predict the behavior of many particles. These methods fail because they ignore the significance of particle-particle interaction. Physical prototyping is not feasible for one-off projects and often the results are difficult to quantify. Problems that can be identified by DEM include plugging, material loss due to splashing or overflow, material degradation, dust production and dispersion, uh, identifying location and severity of wear, and manufacturing efficiency and quality. In this example, you can see that we're using sticky materials. Watch for a buildup of large masses at the uh, output of the belt, but also watch for a buildup of particles at the outlet of the chute. In this example, you're going to see material spillage off of one side of the belt. Throughout the simulation, this material would fall to the floor, possibly into other mechanical components, and cause safety issues and cleanup. One mechanism of dust dispersion is to bring air into the flow in the gaps between particles. When the particle flow becomes compact later, the air is expelled, and with it comes dust. Use of DEM in the design process helps to identify potential problems earlier in the design cycle, allowing design teams to test multiple concepts, to test their system under a wider variety of situations. Doing so cuts prototyping costs, reduces downtime, and reduces warranty claims. Would you like to learn more? If so, visit AppliedDEM.com or OverlandConveyor.com. Thank you.